I remember walking into this unit for the first time and it was, it was the darkest day of my life. But it was amazing how uh, the staff and the support that I felt, the family felt, you know, they were, they were gonna take care of April. But I found that they were gonna take care of me and my family as well. There is a calling on these nurses' lives. It's not just another job. There is a, there is a culture and there is a caring that, it, that goes beyond just a job. We celebrate our patient's life, and, and that's, that's a lot of what we do every day. Instead of thinking of it as this is the end for them, we go back and we relive all of their memories that they have. It really does give me a lot of comfort and joy to be able to provide that care. It's a blessing to be a part of that journey there with them and help them to celebrate life and to have a better quality of life. I enjoy really taking care of their families during that difficult time, providing them with education and support and compassion. We chose Parkview because of the experience that we had at Parkview North. Everyone was so kind and helpful, and so it was the natural step to go from, from Parkview North PRMC to Hospice at Randalia. I'm very proud of working for Parkview. I love that we are involved in the community. We keep, keep moving with the field. We um, are always doing what we need to do to manage our patients the best we can. We strive to meet every patient's last dying wish in any possible way that we can. Our interdisciplinary team has organized baptisms, veteran pinning ceremonies, birthday parties, and anniversaries for patients and their loved ones that spend these special moments with us on our unit. We want to make this time as special as we possibly can, a time that is surrounded with family, and we want them to be able to take back all of these wonderful experiences and memories that they have from being on our unit with them forever. This floor holds a lot for me, and I have some of the best memories, and there, there's community. There's community here that is, that is rich. It's definitely a team effort. The staff that we have here, they want to be here. When they clock in, they clock in because they want to make a difference for a patient and the families. The families are very important. We're not here to judge anyone or tell anyone what to do. We're just there to provide comfort and dignity and peace. Everybody here on this unit loves what they do and they love working in, in hospice care. April was in the best care possible. Not just the standpoint medically, but emotionally and physically. She was taken care of uh, on all fronts. We listen to wants, needs, concerns from every patient and family. We want to make sure that all of the patient's needs are met while they're here with us. Not only just their physical comfort, which is going to be our main focus, but we also want to address any emotional or spiritual needs that they have as well, as these are very, very important in the end of life journey. We were coming up here for the end, and we got so much more. The supportive care unit was exactly where we were supposed to be. What we received from the supportive care unit was invaluable and we, are, we have been blessed by, by the love and the care that we received.